from an audit perspective, SAP Business by Design has an actual audit work centre. This you can therefore give um, external auditors access to the system with read-only access so they can actually look at any document they wish as part of the auditing process. Under the auditing work centre, you can see it's broken down to general ledger, fixed assets, cost and revenue, inventory valuation, cash and liquidity, user access management, etc., including a list of reports. So if you wanted to look at a particular um, document, for example, you could go into source documents. It would list here all the documents with all the, all the dates, etc., any details behind here, which also could be exported if need be. If I wanted to interrogate the, the document itself, I can click on view to look at the document. And if I wanted to look at any particular changes of when this document was changed and by who, etc., I can click on view all, go to the changes tab and run the change history. And in here, I can see that Diane Lacey has changed uh, this document and this is what has actually been changed what it was changed from, what it was changed to, and that it was an update, and on the date and time that it, that it happened. So you've got full visibility and every single document that's created or posted in SAP Business by Design has this audit capability. Also within the Audit Work Center, there is a set of reports, a consolidated bunch of reports that the auditors can run. And this not only, um, covers uh, operational processes, etc., but also administration such as access rights, uh, users, um, report assignments, etc., and user deactivation. So you've got one consolidated place for the auditors to actually go and inquire and investigate the data.